Hello students, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the MYP Personal Project Criterion B Applying Skills. Alright, let's start. So in the Criterion B, it's applying skills which is the ATL skills. So there's two goals that you are going to be working on, which is the learning goal and the product goal. So both of them are almost the same, which is uh, one is directed to the learning goal and the other one is the product. But you are going to concentrate in selecting your ATL skills. All right. Now, both of them needs to be supported with explanation and detailed examples or even evidence. Okay. Now, for example, what are your supporting evidence for this? The examples are from inquiry if you are going to concentrate with your ATL skills for research skills, if you are going to correspond uh, the, um, the communication skills with another person, so maybe a tape strip, all right, uh, interview, questionnaires, so those are things that example for this type, and then screenshot for the reminders for the completing of the task, maybe for the timetable, which is uh, self-management, and then resolving conflict, which is you communicate with social skills, and then summary of all of your product, and then or project for your thinking skills. So those are some examples that you can work on in the evidence for the ATL skills. Now, here are other examples. Please pause the video if you want to copy this one. All right, so let's continue. Now, in the applying of ATL skills, for your goal, you have to remember that you have to select one ATL skill for the learning goal and select one skill for the product goal. Is it going to be only one? No, you can select more than one. All right, so, but I will suggest you to concentrate in one skill to demonstrate what you have learned so far. I want to see passion in your work. I want to see how you learn, how you overcome your obstacles towards the uh, documentation, which is the report, okay? Now, I would want you to gather their uh, information or gather the ev evidences in this uh, in this process, okay? So in this part, this is the most important part in your in your project, which is documenting every single thing that you have done and selecting which one you want to highlight in your report, okay? So this is very important. Maybe you have done a lot of things in your project, but you want to select one skill that will showcase in your report, okay? Now, uh, in for from IB, we have a ATL toolkit that you can use. So when you click this one, it will show this worksheet. Now, I would suggest that you print this one and then answer them in your own time so that you will be able to work on them and then evaluate which one is your best points so that you can showcase in your report, okay? So this is, there are a lot of pages for this one, so make sure that you read carefully for this evaluation. This is also available in the website that I provided, okay? Now, let's continue. Now, here, the learning, uh, so here, the ATL skills, you need to be the person who demonstrate what you have learned from the start, from your M MYP years, okay? Now, this is to learn how to learn. So the curriculum, how to develop your skills over time. So you have to showcase that one. Now, uh, you have to demonstrate your skills, a personal project, and then document everything that is able to understand what you have learned. Now, here, uh, you may want to 
you may want to look into what are the ATL skills that are available and you can work on them. Now, these are examples of the evidence that you can work on towards a spe specific ATL skills. So here, communication. You can pause the pause while going through the video. And then this is the social skills, collaboration more and collaborating with one another. And then thinking skills, there are three trends, which is the uh, critical thinking skills, creative thinking skills, and transfer skill. Most of the time, uh, students have a bit of a problem with the transfer skills. Now, self-management, there are the organizational skills, effective skills, and reflective skills, okay? And then the research, which is uh, information literacy skills and media literacy skills. This is most mostly common from my students. Okay, so when you are going to write down your report, you have to reflect which are the ATL skills that you want to showcase for your learning skills and your products, uh, product goal. Okay, the uh, learning goal and product goal. Okay, so which one are you confident about? And then which one do you think will you use in your report? Okay, and which one is also challenging? Because I want you to make sure that you challenge yourself and make your own work as possible as uh, fruitful for you as a person. Now, here are some examples of the ATL skill clusters. Now, this has been taught to you over the years in MYP that how you are going to be demonstrating them. So all in all, in all these are some possible evidence that you can work on, but make sure that that evidence is very fruitful for your project, okay? And then showcasing it in your report. Pick one that you will think that it is going to be the best. All right. So when you gather the, your evidence, I want you to organize them. Now you can or uh, you can have pictures, videos, audios, or any any kind of evidence that you would want, depending on the evidence type that you are going to be documenting. Now, uh, what kind of recording you are going to be working on and the most important part is the organization of your evidence you may put them in your google drive or on your computer but make sure to label them properly and then put them in the proper order or else you will forget that where you put them your floppy disk or your not floppy disk your flash drive and then uh, you you will forget where you put them so make sure that it is safe and then easy to access from for yourself all right and then i want you to make a separate folder for each evidence so that it is accessible for you you may create table and chart so that you have a check mark for those um, important detail that you want to do and then and other methods are also work as long as you are able to understand and uh, uh, archive and retrieve those evidence for your report now this is the b1 all right atl learning goal now in the atl learning goal uh, i would want you to look into the evidence for the learning goal okay so the criterion b1 you need to look into some examples so for example uh opavl for resource uh interview for communication or screenshot from your uh, calendar or any of your action plan so any of them and then you are going to reflect from them okay now these are 
So this is the OPVL. So OPVL meaning it is evaluating sources. There are different types of evaluating sources which we which we look into online and why we want to evaluate them because it needs to be credible now and reliable. Now make sure that they are evaluated properly. Look into the questions and then answer them. Are they going? Are those sources? valuable for your research okay so opvl another research um, another research type that you can look into is the evaluation of craap which is the crap and then these are the currency relevance authority current accuracy and purpose so these are some questions that you can use to evaluate your sources and then now we're going to look into the example for the for this uh, strand okay so uh, for this strand so you are uh, this one is achieving the learning goal so our ATL skills is research now here is an example of the research that the student demonstrated so here is an um, uh, evaluation source that, that the student used, but make sure that you, you have multiple of them so that it is um, credible for us to read and evaluate your, your work. Okay, now here is the, the rubric. So, you may see that there are states outline, describe, and explain. Now, uh, that will be your command terms for evaluating the learning goal, and then make sure you have the supporting detail. Okay? Now, here are the, the command terms. Please pause this video if you want to read those in detail. Now, I would want you to uh, absorb this one so that you know how you should showcase them not only state them but you need to make sure that you have explained every single thing that you work on for your ATL skill so this is b2 which is the product so this is more on the ATL skills that you are directed towards your product okay so here examples of them are the problem solving issues for creating and then also resolving a conflict and writing a story so those are some examples that you want to pursue for your skills there are much more that is uh, also uh, explained in the previous slides okay so here is an example for the um, the result or report Okay, now here applying skills to create the, a product. So the ATL skill is thinking skills. So you have to make sure that your ATL skill is quite strong to connect what you have learned to, towards the product. Okay, now here is a rubric. Now the rubric is also the same, but it is directed to the product, okay? Make sure that you read them carefully. Now, I know that this is the most difficult part because you need to organize your work, make evidence, your process journal will need to be there, and then writing all, all, all in all. Now, I want you to pursue what your passion is, you need to make sure that you have work on everything and you do your best, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this video and then if you have any questions, just reach me out. Good luck.